This is the newest wireless mic from Saramonic. It is a little bit different than all the other microphones that I've ever tested. This microphone has a great design and a great shape, but it has also some interesting features. Let's talk about them. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Photorabs. I do videos about photography, filmmaking, camera tech related reviews, unboxings, action cams and vlogging kits. If you're interested in these topics, I highly appreciate if you go subscribe to my channel. That's a massive help. A quick disclaimer, Saramonic sent me this microphone to try it out for free. They did not sponsor my channel. They did not pay me to do this video. So this is gonna be my honest opinion about this microphone from Saramonic. So if you want, you can be a member of this channel for less than the price of one coffee per month, less than two euros. You can be a member and a supporter for my channel. That's a massive help. And you can check the affiliate links. I have lots of great deals on photography and videography products. You can get great discounts and I can get a small commissions that helps the channel a lot. And now let's unbox this Blink Me B2 from Saramonic. So in the box we have this carrying case in which we have lots of accessories as well as the microphone, the transmitters and the receiver. On the upper part we have lots of accessories here, lots of magnetic mounts for the microphone, lots of clips, magnetic mounts some quarter inch threads, some cold shoe mounts as well and we have a small pocket on top we have screen protectors for the displays on the transmitters and on the receiver a USB cable to charge the microphone we have also TRRS cable to TRRS to connect the microphone to a smartphone a smartphone clamp with a cold shoe mount on top and a quarter inch thread on the bottom it is expandable to fit all sizes of smartphones we have two windshields for the two transmitters these are important if you want to vlog and if you want to record outdoors we need such windshields on the microphones and we have the microphone unit we have two transmitters and one receiver so this is the charging case this is the receiver all in one that's something that I really like on this Blink Me B2 from Saramonic. The transmitters have a display touch screen where we can adjust and view all the settings that you want. We have also a noise reduction button which is always handy in outdoor situations. On the transmitter also we have a display touch screen which is very handy to change the settings, to view the settings and to control better the audio coming to the camera. And I forgot that in the box we have also this manual but I think we don't need it. We can configure the microphone without this one. I'm so excited to try this microphone, not only because we can customize the wallpaper on the transmitters, we can use our logo, for example, for some branding, that's amazing, but because it also have eight gigabyte of internal recording on each transmitter, such as the case on the DJI wireless microphone and the full AMX5 that I've talked about previously on my channel. You can check the video. I'll put the link in the description below. This microphone from Saramonic has also the 8GB of internal recording which has become the standards now for all the wireless microphones in 2023. The Saramonic Blink Me B2 is priced around 300 euros, almost the same price, a little bit cheaper than the DJI wireless microphone. They both can record 24 bits internally. On the DJI we can plug a lavalier mic. On the Blink Me from Saramonic we cannot but here we have display touch screen we can customize the wallpaper on the Saramonic we cannot do this on the DJI while on the full aim x5 we can plug a lavalier mic but we can only record 16 bits but the Saramonic Blink Me B2 is almost double the price or even bit more than the full aim x5 so as I said in the beginning of this video we have lots of mounting accessories for the microphones in this case from Saramonic that's something that I really appreciate so we can clip the microphone on the shirt or we can use the magnet the small magnet that we have to put it magnetically on the shirt easily that's something that I really appreciate in this case in this carrying case from Saramonic 
but what I don't like is that we only have the TRRS cable to TRRS cable so that means we only can connect the microphone to a smartphone that's why they send in the box a smartphone holder a clamp for the smartphone but I would like to use this microphone mainly with my cameras whether with my Fujifilm X-H2S or the Sony zv 10 or uh, very soon the Fujifilm X-S20 so if you want to use the transmitter with the camera we need to get another type of cable the TRS to TRRS cable in order to make them connect together that's something that is missing in this box I don't know why Saramonic you could be better by sending this uh, cable this small cable in the box as well that will be perfect but that's not a big problem for me because i have lots of other audio cables in my home studio that i can use but mainly i will use this microphone without connecting the receiver to the camera i will rely only on the onboard recording we have about 22 hours of onboard recording we have a huge battery i believe it's more than 10 hours of battery on this unit and now let's go out do some tests between the Saramonic Blink Me B2, the Full AMX5 and the DJI wireless mic I'll record internally on the three microphones and then I'll get back to you after I check the files on my computer to tell you whether it's worth or not the 300 euros. So now I have the three microphones here, the Saramonic Blink Me B2, the Full AMX5 and the DJI wireless mic, all of them are recording internally. I have connected the DJI wireless mic, the receiver, to the DJI Action 3 that I'm using now in order just to sync the three audios in post later on. So let me know what you think about the audio quality. So I'm testing out these microphones now without the windshields because I'm in a controlled environment somehow. I don't have wind coming on, I have the AC turned off in the car. And I don't have the noise reduction function activated on all of them. So this is an audio test. A, B, C, audio test, one, two, three. This is the Saramonic Blink Me B2 test, A, B, C. Today they announced some rain and thunder, so I hope I can go out on the lunch break so I can do some tests for these three microphones so you can see by yourself whether the uh, Saramonic Blink Me B2 is worth the 300 euros or not. So now let's do a quick test outdoor. I'm recording with the Full Aim X5, the Saramonic Blink Me B2 and the DJI wireless mic. I have the windshield on. They announced uh, some thunderstorms. But here we have some blue skies around with some clouds. So I think I have a window of about an hour to do my tests. Let's go see whether the sound of these microphones, whether the sound of the Saramonic Blink Me B2 is worth the 300 euros or not. And by the way, as I said before, I'm recording this quick vlog test with the DJI Action 3. I have the DJI wireless mic receiver attached to the camera so I can sync in post the three microphones together with the image of course with the footages so let me know what you think about the audio quality I'm recording internally on the microphones now we have some wind around does it bother the audio quality do you hear that wind effect on the microphones? So I have the microphones at about the same level from my mouth. So they are at the same distance to pick the sound in the best way possible, I, I believe. So let me know what you think so far about the audio quality. Let's do some quick test. Test audio. One, two, three, four, five, six. And by the way, on a quick note, the DJI Action 3 is much better now than when it was released back in September 2022. I don't believe that DJI will produce a DJI Action 4 in September or in October 2023. So I believe it's going to be this camera for maybe two years or three years from now. I believe they will add lots of new updates to this camera to make it even better than now, of course. 
and since I'm not plugging the receiver to the camera I cannot do a range test but I believe that we don't need the 100 meter that it's announced on the Saramonic Blink Me V2 because we will always be at maybe a few meters from the camera to the maximum I believe so I don't think that the 100 meters is something that we really need for such microphones but what I don't like, as I said before, is that we don't have the TRS to TRRS cable included in the box for 300 euros. Saramonic could make maybe a small effort to add this cable that will be even better for a package for this microphone. And there's something that I don't like about the Saramonic Blink Me B2. We now have the screen protectors included in the box. That's something good. But once we add these protectors to the screen to protect the screens, whether for the transmitters or the receiver, we lose a lot on the touch of, this, of these displays. So I think again, for the price, Saramonic could add a better screen protection without losing any of the tactile of the displays that will be much, much better than what we have now. So if you have this microphone, let me know whether you are using the screen protectors or not, or if there is another way to use them. I believe it's something very easy, but I lost a lot in the tactile on the displays. And now let's go back to my studio to check the audio files to see uh, which microphone sounds better according to me. Again, I'm not an audio expert. So after testing these three microphones today in an outdoor vlog, the full AMX5, the DJI wireless mic and the Saramonic Blink Me B2, I find that the Saramonic Blink Me 2 is very nice. It sounds very nice. I love how it sounds. It's very convenient to use it because you can have your logo, you can have any other wallpaper on it. It's really fun to use it. But there are some drawbacks for the Saramonic Blink Me B2. For example, the screen protectors that you have in the box, when you put them to protect the screens on the transmitters and the receiver, the touch screen won't be responsive as it was before putting these protectors. So I had to remove them because it was not responding very fast to my touch, to my gestures on the screens. So it was a bit difficult to manage it with the screens with the protectors on so I had to remove them that's uh, something that I wish that Saramonic will address very soon for this microphone or the next generation of this microphone because uh, they are really not usable at all and I found another drawback for this microphone is that when you are recording internally for a long period of time at about 30 minutes or more you will feel you will notice some problems in syncing the audio the audio won't be synced perfectly after 30 minutes of continuous recording. It will be a little bit off for less than a frame. So you have to move it a little bit on post in order to make it very well synced with your main audio. That's something that's really uh, feasible via firmware update from Saramonic. So I hope they will address it as well. I wish we had all the cables inside the box as I said many times in this video but a TRS cable to TRS cable you can find it on Amazon for few euros it's not a big deal but they could have put it inside the box it won't cost them a lot so that's well it's not a big problem but it can be a big problem for lots of users who want to use it directly with their cameras they have to buy the cable separately that's something that i think it could be better on this microphone on this kit and it should be better on the next generation of this microphone concerning the audio quality the 24 bits is amazing just like the dji wireless mic i was missing this 24 bits on the full mx5 but now with this saramonic blink me b2 we have a 24-bit recording that's amazing so you can have lots of room to play in post with your audio that's something amazing i'm not an audio expert as i said many times on this channel but this is something that uh, that's very important it's like shooting in raw and then you can develop your image the way you want now it's exactly the same with this 24 bits and I believe in the next years it's gonna be about 32 bits if not more as well. And for the audio experts they're gonna enjoy a lot 
the fact that on this microphone you can adjust the levels from minus 12 decibels to plus 12 decibels so you have lots of room to play with to find the best configuration for your levels for your audio levels when you are recording your videos even though i like the form factor of this microphone but i feel that it could be better if the magnetic clip can be directly on this case on this receiver and transmitter case because now i have to carry the magnetic clip or the magnetic holder separately with this microphone it's not directly built in so we can put some magnet here maybe we can slide it out in the next generation so we can use it easily everything in only one small box that would be perfect so the question is does this ceramonic blink me be too worth the 300 euros cost well it depends it depends on how you use it if it's your only microphone that you have and you want to create your content with and you don't need a lav mic you don't need to plug a shotgun mic for example in your home studio so this blink me b2 is amazing from ceramonic you have the 24 bits you have internal recording you can customize the wallpapers it's convenient it's small it's perfect but if you need to plug a lav mic if you need to plug a shotgun mic then this one is very limited you cannot do it with this one you have to get whether the dji uh, wireless mic or the full amx5 because these two have internal recording as well and it's something very important in 2023 to have internal recording in the microphones but keep in mind that the ceramonic blink me b2 or the dji wireless microphone are more than double the price of the full amx5 which can record only in 16 bits so if you don't need to play with your audio files in post-processing if you are not an audio expert so you don't know how to play with the audio files then the full amx5 is more than enough for the content creation on youtube or any other platform and that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to put thumbs up under this video to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done it and as i said in the beginning of this video now you can be a member and a supporter for this channel for less than the price of one coffee per month less than two euros you can be a member and a supporter for my channel and you can also support my channel by checking the affiliate links in the description below i have lots of good deals on photography and videography products that i've talked about previously on my channel you can get some great deals and i can get some small commissions that helps the channel a lot and thank you for watching see you in another one ciao